the honorable member for Halifax. Mr. Speaker, habitat loss causes extinction. And researchers have found that of 221 threatened or endangered species, only 56 had their critical habitat identified, let alone protected. And in fact, concerned citizens have had to drag this government to court just to force them to follow their own endangered species laws. And still, the Conservatives continue to cut enforcement and funding. So when will this minister commit the resources that are needed to protect endangered species? The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Mr. Speaker, our government is committed to protecting our environment, and that is why we launched a new national conservation plan that will enable Canadians to conserve and restore land and water and enhance the connections between citizens and natural spaces. We've also created two national marine conservation areas, three marine protected areas, three national wildlife areas, four national parks, one national historic site. The total of the land we have protected is an area that is more than twice the size of Vancouver Island. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Halifax. The Minister says she's committed to protecting the environment. She should know that while the world is stepping up action to reduce emissions, Canada is falling behind. Environment Canada has shown that the Conservatives are set to miss our 2020 target by at least 20 per cent. So the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Environment responded yesterday by saying, quote, well, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Does the minister believe that this is just her department's opinion, or does she, will she actually admit to climate change caused by humans being a fact? Mr. Speaker, we have always said for any international agreements to reduce global greenhouse gas emissions, all major economies and emitters must do their part, with the United States and China accounting for 39% of the global greenhouse gas emissions, we are very encouraged to see they're taking action as Canada emits less than 2 per cent. Mr. Speaker, we will continue to play our part by reducing emissions here at home and working with our partners across the globe to establish an international agreement that includes all major emitters without introducing a carbon tax.